Hello, this is Rolf Tomazone. So, um, it's been a while since my last collection video. I thought I would go ahead and do an update as I've accumulated a fair sum now uh, that I can go ahead and do that. Well, let's go ahead and start with my 20th anniversary um, mix. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have already seen uh, pictures and videos and, and I'm sure most of you already have your copies anyway. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to go ahead and make a review of this at this point. Um, I might do just like a very brief uh, video on what the differences might be from the actual mix because it's not very much but um, so yeah so there's this after that I got one shell that I had been wanting for a long long time and that was this um, I already had one of these a few years back but I ended up selling it then I regret regretting it so I was looking to find one for a good price. I finally located one on Yahoo Japan and went ahead and grabbed it. Um, Uratamas really do have the most beautiful shells. Um, I think Uratamas and Akai's had the best shells. Um, I don't know if you guys agree with that, but I some of my favorite shell designs have been from the Uratamas and um, Akai's. So um, there's that. Next, I got this really rare um, Gigapets. It is based on the movie, uh, the 3D animated uh, cartoon, A Bug's Life. These are very rare and hardly ever pop up, so when I found one for a decent price on eBay, I went ahead and jumped on it. Um, I was thrilled to find this, and it works, and everything works just fine. The sound works, which is the most important part to me, because... Um, sound chips on these gigapets from the 90s were not very good so it's always a bit of a um, you know chance if you will when you're buying one to see if it's actually gonna still work but so this one does so I was very happy about that after that I got this pen it's not an official one I found this on uh, Etsy for the 20th anniversary, I mean, it's made out of real metal. It's not a plastic flimsy thing or anything. It's actual metal. It's a pin uh, for the 20th anniversary, as I said. And I love pins. I usually put them on my sweaters during winter. So, uh, and it has my favorite character on it, of course, uh, Quichipachi. So um, I thought this was great. It was like eight bucks on Etsy, I believe. So um, it's the Whimsical Club. Uh, I think if you search for that on uh, Etsy, you'll be able to uh, find it. Whimsical Boy, I think. Yeah, Whimsical Boy. So, yeah. There was this, and this booklet came with it. Talking about uh, Tamagotchis. My Tamagotchi was there for me when I needed a friend, and that's why I will always be a friend to Tamagotchi. Yeah, it's cute. So, there's some art in there as well. So, there's that. After that, I got a, once again, a very uh, rare and elusive pet from the 90s. Uh, this is called the Nonbekun, and uh, the premise of this is just hilarious because, as you can see, the pet itself is in the shape of a sake bottle, and it is you basically take care of a drunk. <laughs> so, you take care of this drunkard, uh, give him different kinds of alcohol and give him bar food and take care of him that way and he waddles and he throws up and you know it's it's quite quite whimsical and uh, so funny I mean that's that's the best word to describe it I think it's just it's just really really funny and so I was very happy to add this to my collection after that I got a very good price on uh, the Mikaloon and Deviton, these are um, an angel and demon pet that uh, constantly are at odds with one another. Um, I got two of them. Um, from what I know, you can go ahead and connect them. There are the connectors up top. Um, so I got the black one and this white one. So um, I was very happy to find these. Usually they go for really high prices but I got this from Charlie's store on uh, eBay and I paid 
uh, I don't know, like 30 bucks for 30 bucks, something like that. I mean, it was a really, really good price. So there's those. Next, I got this from Pamela, who recently went to Japan on a trip, and while she was there, she visited uh, the store, um, the Tamadepa, and she asked all of us, she was kind enough to ask all of us in the uh, Tamagotchi Facebook groups if we wanted anything from the store while she was there, she was going to go ahead and pick it up. So I asked for a few trinkets, so she brought them back with her, and then I got it in the mail. So it came with the Tamadepa box, uh, the bag, excuse me. And let me see if I can get it out with one hand. Okay. So I got this adorable little Kuchipachi plush. It's so soft and cute. Uh, it's like a little ball. That's Kuchipachi, and I love Kuchipachi. He's my favorite. So there's that. And also, I got this tiny little Kuchipachi charm. Um, I think they're or normally meant for bracelets, like charm bracelets and stuff people have. Obviously, I'm not gonna wear it as that, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it into a charm for one of my um, Tamas. So, there's that. And then I got this. This is the uh, Angelfish Aquarium color one. I had the color one for the dolphin. I was only missing this one. So I was very happy to go ahead and add this to my collection. Unfortunately, they never made a color one for the jellyfish. It would have been the best one in my opinion, but they just never did. So, so there was this. And then I got this Mame Goma. It came in this cute little box. Um, it is like a virtual pet where you take care of this little um, seal baby. And it has a uh, mechanical part where it actually pops its head out from the water here. And you interact with it through the uh, buttons. So that was this. And of course, one I've been extremely excited about has been this Tamagotchi P station. Um, I will also be putting up an unboxing video of this and a little bit of how it's run. So um, look for that video as well. But so I was thrilled beyond words to add this to my collection. So there's that. As a last note, I also got these as an early Christmas present. Um, they are the Giga Monsters. I got the uh, Frankenstein and the Mummy. Now there is a third rare one that's uh, based after the 90s TV show called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, so I'm on the lookout for that. If I find it, hopefully I'll go ahead and grab one of those as well. But for now, I have the original two. So that's about it for right now, guys. Of course, I still have um, a bunch of things on the way coming. But um, this is it from this collection. Thank you for watching. Au revoir.